happy uh, Saturday. What we have here is a 99 Lexus GS400. We're going to do knock sensors on. Oh, wait. But there's more. You'll catch that catch in a minute. To any hoozles, we have some random stuff here. We've been beating on things. This is our favorite tool to work on Toyotas with. It really gets Toyota feeling the way we feel. It works great. So anyway, so here the car is. Uh, we got to get this intake off. Luckily, we've already been here before. So uh, let's do it now. We're going to get some tools out of the way. Take the throttle body off, take the air intake off, and things and stuff like that. In case you got a hurt paw. Hey man, it'll be alright. There you go. Let's do this real quick. So we have the throttle body off, we have the coolant temp sensor out, we have these injectors out, take the intake bolts out. We're gonna go this side here, pull all this conglomeration BS off, get down these intake bolts, and then we're gonna take this intake and go bloop. Pull the gaskets off, knock sensors are under there, and then replace the gaskets. Gotcha, gotcha. Why am I not done? I don't know. I don't know. I'm hurrying, okay? Look, I, I hurt my finger too the other day. Help! All the bolts out of the way here. Now we're going to pick this thing up and roll it over here. You want to try and get that off? You can, but I mean, if you want to try to use vice grip or something. Well, we did it the other day without it, so. <laughs> yeah, don't you want to pull that thing off and clean it though? It would be nice. I don't know how I'm going to get that off. But all right, we, this is our nemesis right here. This bolt right here. We're gonna see if we can get it broke loose. It did not want to come loose the other day. It followed us for two hours straight. Let's we'll see what we can Vacuum get. leak. So, hey, one lived. Only took three of them, man. It only took three, so we have that in there. We'll finish cleaning this up and vacuum it out. And we'll have to abandon the ship on this project for a few days till the part comes in. It be like that sometimes. Broken paw, broken car, broken We're Run over our buddy college shop here real quick and uh, see if we can get some tabs welded on. If not, we have to buy an intake metaphor. That sucks. Look at the moped gang. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Ready to go. We had to clean that up, set the gasket down. We're going to put a light coat and RTV everywhere on this, under the gasket, on top of the gasket, because we know this is not a perfectly flat surface. It's very flat, but it's not perfectly flat. So we're going to seal any imperfections in it and get this car back together. Whew. First, I'm going to eat. I'm going to customs for that. Thanks, Thanks, back. We're going to go over here now. We're going to take this. We're going to clean all this crap out of here so possibly can't nothing fall in. We're going to clean the bottom of the valley out too, so it don't matter. The new O2s are in. And a model. A moment of full disclosure, he had previously been in here and did the O2s on it, and we believe he broke the tabs then, and we we're having a severe vacuum leak on the cylinder over here, so we decided we we're going to take it back off and redo everything. So big thanks to Colin for welding that on, and now let's try to do this without breaking anything. Perhaps, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We just want to make this thing run and drive. Vacuumed out. Now, it's not surgically clean, but it's clean enough that we can do what we need to do. So now we'll go ahead and uh, get our gaskets over here. Do our light coats RTV on anything so we make sure if any there are any irregular, irregularities. That's a big word. You should be proud that I got that out of my mouth. That was amazing. Thanks to Castle County School System. So any hoozles, let's get those out. Get the intake gaskets on. The backs are studs. All four corners are studs. That holds the gaskets in place. So like when we put it in, we have to worry about the gasket moving. But we do want to make sure that we cover up any ups and downs on the high and the low. We already surfaced the intake as best we could in our redneck methods. It should be better than it was. What's wrong? We'll get the throttle body back on. We get all the wires in, the vacuum lines, and we'll see what it does. We also got to do this fuel line, get it back. But this is a mother effort. This car is not designed for anybody to work on. Here we go. No more misfires. So now we'll let it warm up a second, then we'll close the hood. We'll take it down the road and see how it does. See if the knock sensor code. Yeah. See how it acts, and hopefully that knock sensor code stays away. That's why I wouldn't do a burnout. We figured that out. Once you clear the knock sensor code, it would be a complete aminal, aminal. Then it went into limp mode the other day because of the knock sensor code. So, duly noted, 93 octane only. Watch it again. 
That's all the bad. We'll get a better yeah. gear. traffic. Catch you on the next one. Peace and chicken grease. Hope y'all enjoy. Thank you very much. If you can like, subscribe, get some friends back to subscribe to them. It'd be cool and shit. It's been a 500 killing me, man. 46K. It's killing me. Was there at one time. Sucks. But it is what it is. I ain't gonna complain. I'm gonna carry on. For the next one. Video, we're gonna try and see if we can give this old Danger Ranger a tune up. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a pair of coil packs on and see if it acts any better. We already did plugs on it on the primary side, so that should help us some. I think it's got a lot of fuel issues. Uh, I am not in a position to mess with that today, but we're gonna put a pair of coal packs on. Let's see if we get to the back. Jamie Wright, in the right. 